Pork pride is everywhere in Smithfield, Virginia. This small town of 8,000 dubs itself the ham capital of the world. Painted pigs line Main Street, and at the taste of Smithfield Cafe, bacon graces nearly every plate. The town's museum even features the world's oldest edible ham. And some in town still produce ham as it was done generations ago. We are curing ham the same way it was done during colonial times, in Jamestown, Williamsburg, right on up to, to now. The town is also home to the world's largest pork producer, Smithfield Foods. This factory processes more than 10,000 pigs a day. We've got boneless loins, bone-in loins, butts, back ribs, spare ribs, neck bones, cushions. We've got an assortment of everything. And this is going on all over the country? All over the world. Here, every employee, from secretaries to the CEO, learns how to properly butcher a pig. A year ago, news broke that stunned the town. Chinese buyers had purchased Smithfield Foods. That was the issue when it was announced. It just shocked it down. Nobody saw it coming. Another foreign deal causing chatter, if not national security concerns. Smithfield agreeing to be acquired by China's Shuangwei International for $34. Chinese a company share. today offering nearly $5 if billion. Approved, bucks. It would be the largest Chinese takeover of any American company. Questions are being raised about why China wants our pigs. The takeover raised concerns the Chinese government was a hidden player in the deal. Some members of Congress wondered why Shuangwei Group would pay more than Smithfield's market value. The Chinese paid a 30% premium. Very interesting, not exactly the best business deal. So what's really going on here? What really is it that this merger, this purchase was all about? Senator Debbie Stabenow heads the Senate Agriculture Committee. She says food is a strategic resource that should be as important to the U.S. government as oil. This isn't just an acquisition of a company, it's 25% of the pork industry in the United States. Stabenow worried that the Smithfield takeover could signal a long-term threat to the vital American food industry. This is a precedent-setting case. As the U.S. government reviewed the deal, Stabenow called a Senate sure hearing to take a deeper right look at the first Chinese purchase of a major American food company. This is really all about control. Daniel Slane, a congressional advisor who receives classified China briefings from the CIA, warned of Chinese government involvement. So they have told their domestic industries, like Shanwei, go out and find these companies and acquire them. And in effect, American companies are not competing with a Chinese company, but with the Chinese government, right. and they can't win that competition. That's right. Larry Pope, president and CEO of Smithfield Foods, said this was simply the case of one private company buying another. Uh, would you agree that uh, Shanghai is a state-controlled company? No, I would not agree, uh, Senator, that it is a state-controlled company. It is, I mean, I think, the, I think that's fairly easy to research. So I just asked the, uh, Mr. Slane to do the research, and maybe he's just gotten some bad information. Some senators even laughed off Slane's remarks. Did you realize you were the victim of a Chinese communist plot? <laughs> Senator, I did not. I, to this to this moment, I'm not sure I understand. I'm the victim and of the a control, communist plot. And the so. control of your company somehow <laughs> to allow China to control. In his written testimony, Pope said the Chinese government has absolutely no ownership stake or management control in Shuangwei. He's either lying or he's delusional, one, one or the other. I just don't think he understands the situation, and, and you can't expect him to be a China expert. I mean, his, his job is to do what's in the best interest of the shareholders. The Treasury Department approved the deal last September, a special committee which meets behind closed doors to evaluate foreign purchases of American companies, reviewed the acquisition to assess whether it posed a threat to national security, focusing on military defense. Since Treasury's final report is classified, the Center for Investigative Reporting spent four months determining if the Chinese government played a role in the takeover. Carl Sanchez, the American lawyer who brokered the deal for Shuangwei, says the Chinese government's bank, the Bank of China, approved the $4 billion loan to buy Smithfield in a single day. Bank of China is it's owned by the government. So if the government has an initiative and they want to go forward with it, the advantage is, is that they can support that. Sure. We had our financing all lined up. We were ready to roll. We were ready to sign that agreement. We were ready to provide commitment letters from the banks for about 
$5 billion in financing altogether. In its annual report, the Bank of China highlights the Smithfield takeover, calling it their social responsibility and saying it spares no effort to support Chinese enterprises in their international competition. We asked Sanchez directly about the Chinese government's role in the deal. So that part of the transaction I'm not sure I can comment on. I'd have to check with the client first before I could comment on that. So to find out more, we went to China, where a rapidly growing middle class is eating more meat every year, pushing the country's pork production to the limit. At factories like Shuangwei's, the government has established massive pork reserves, akin to oil reserves in the U.S., to store millions of pounds of frozen meat. In 2011, the government issued a five-year plan directing food companies such as Shuangwei to obtain more meat for their production lines by purchasing overseas businesses. We went to Shuangwei's headquarters in Luoha, China. Welcome to Shuangwei. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. Thank you, thank you. We got a tour of the company from Zhang Tai Si, president of Shuangwei. Zhang, like other senior management at Shuangwei, was appointed to his position by the Chinese government. How supportive was the Chinese government of Shuangwei's purchase of Smithfield Foods? Very supportive. How did the Chinese government support this deal? The Chinese government has been supporting us with preferential policy as well as investment. For instance, the Bank of China has shown great support both financially and politically. And why has the government given so much support? Because Shuangwei, according to its own documents, is required to carry out China's five-year plan. In effect, the Chinese government does exercise management control. We went back to Smithfield CEO Larry Pope, who is now an executive with the Chinese company, to ask whether he stands by his testimony to Congress. I have never seen a government official uh, related to this transaction from China at all. We showed Larry Pope the Bank of China annual report that details their role in the Smithfield acquisition. This is the Bank of China document where they lay this out. I didn't know they did it in 24 hours. You can see here, I just mark it. I mean, they're, they're saying that that transaction is part of the government's plan and they're supporting it and it's their social responsibility. While the bank performs its social responsibility, the bank spares no efforts to support Chinese enterprises in there. Wow. <sighs> I mean, I, I'm How do not you compete I'm, with that. It's hard. I don't think I could go out today and get the U.S. government to support making a $4 billion loan uh, as a social responsibility for Smithfield to move forward on a, foreign, on a foreign country territory. No, I don't think that's doable in any industry that I can think of. Uh, Sanchez, the lawyer for Shuangwei, says the Bank of China is set to fund many more Chinese takeovers. I definitely think that uh, the Shanghai smithfield deal was a litmus test for Chinese um, U.S. deals, very large Chinese U.S. deals. I can tell you firsthand that this has paved the way for other deals. We are now looking at um, a few other very large transactions for Chinese clients looking at other iconic brands in the United States. Senator Stabenow said that if the Chinese government has a global food agenda that includes purchasing American food companies, the U.S. government should provide strategic protection for its food industry. Food security is national security, and I can't imagine that the American people will feel comfortable if they wake up someday and find that half of our food processors are owned by China. And I think so there's some very, very tough questions that need to be answered. Stabenow is now drafting legislation that would require the Treasury Department to take a much harder look at foreign takeovers of American food companies.